Alright, hello everyone. So, I'm on my way home, passing a very busy road. That's what's behind this wall here. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to like, um, I guess, mention the whole, like there's this article going around where it's like, uh, finding your passion and whatever, and how not every day is going to be like really, really good. And like it's it's an interesting article. I'll put it in the comments when I get home. Uh, but anyways, so I think what really um, spoke to me in that whole article is that like every day is not going to be glorious and euphoric, euphoric and like you know made of dreams and rainbows and stuff. Because when I'm working here as an ALT in Japan, it's really really a big deal. Um, it's, you know, something that I've wanted to do for a long freaking time and I'm here and I'm finding like there's some classes where they just get me really, really, really down and depressed because the students, <laughs> they're, they're kind of like, as a collective, they're like, oh, I hate English. I don't want anything to do with, with you and with your English language and get out of my classroom kind of thing. and. Like those are the, the hardest days um, that I've had to experience here in Japan and that's kind of the reality, like not every day is going to be glamorous but not, not every day is going to be bad either. Um, I guess my philosophy on life is like balance, so I'm just going to show you, show you the scenery. We're going past this like garbage place, I don't know what it is, it might be a recycling thing. Um, but anyways, so the reality is that like not every day is going to be glorious, um, and yeah, see, this is like the garbage place, and yeah, I can totally agree with that, like Japan, being here, teaching English is like a dream job, but at the same time, there are days where I wake up and I'm like, holy shit, do I really want to go and deal with that class again, <laughs> kind of thing, right, so, um, but What's really nice is knowing that not every day is going to be like shit. You make an impact on even like a few students and that's huge. That's a really, really important thing is being there for those students who actually enjoy your language and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this view. This is, this is like a river. It's the same river that Tom and I sit on. Those are the stairs. We like sit on the stairs and then enjoy the river. It's kind of sunset right now, so that's why it's like glowy. And this is like a walkway, so you can like jog or bike or whatever. So there's people there biking. Um, but anyways, yeah, so. Yeah, I guess that's the one thing I wanted to say in this video is teaching English in Japan has its ups and downs, just like, teaching anywhere in the world. You'll get shit students that make a shit class and it makes you want to shoot yourself in the head, but you'll also get amazing students that'll like make you laugh until you cry and they like make you feel good. So anyways, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because lately I've been feeling really, really down about teaching because that one day where it was like class after class of just nothing but like bullshit and the kids absolutely hated everything that I was doing and saying and they weren't paying attention they were like bullying the teacher and I'm like that was a huge punch in, in the face to me like that was really the end of my utopia kind of thing like I've, I've woken up and I could see the reality and I saw it back in Calgary because like my practicum schools weren't all glorious either but here in Japan like after seeing that it just like it tore me apart <laughs> so but I'm gonna keep keep going I'm gonna keep kicking it um, for the students who want to be there and I'll try my best to like engage the students who don't give a shit but I know it'll be hard um, but that's, that's what life is about. You get your challenges and then you push past them. So anyways, okay, you guys take care. Thank you for listening. 
and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.